everyone. This is Josh again. I hope you're having a great winter if you're in the U.S. especially. So today I'm bringing you another video of a latest release from Native Instruments. One of the pianos from the Definitive Piano Collection recently released by Native uh, Instruments. And what I have is one of the three pianos of that out of that collection called the Grand Dua. I like that name. If I'm pronouncing that right, uh, my guess, and I'm shooting from the hint when I say this, my guess is that this is a Steinway, a Steinway D. It doesn't really say that, but it kind of gives you the hint by saying in the description on one of the websites that it's one of the world's favorite pianos, whatever that means. So. I'm guessing it's a Steinway D. It has the design of a Steinway D. But anyway, I wanted to uh, give you guys an idea of how this piano sounds and talk a little bit about it. So I'll play something, some basic stuff here. All right, the basic chords. And one of the things that I like about it from the jump, from the beginning, is the dynamic range, especially on the soft, uh, on the soft chords that I was playing there. It has such a beautiful, natural, warm tone to it. So I'm going to play this D minor chord again. And I'm going to build up my volume, my velocity, or what have you. Beautiful tone, a very, very beautiful tone that I like. So, now this is just one. Now, this is just, I know this can be um, dependent on your own taste, it's all relative. But to me, now that, let me play this C again. What you actually hear is the release sample. When I first played it, I thought that was the reverb or some type of convolution reverb. So for me, I think that the release sample is a little bit too overbearing. So. So you could tweak it. That's a good thing. You could tweak it to your own taste. So to me. I think it almost sounds like a reverb when you have, I think it was at minus 18, but if you, I'll take that bet. I'm, I think it was somewhere in that range. I don't remember exactly, but you could tweak it. You could bring it down if you want to at, at your own taste. Alright, so that was the only drawback for me was that I think the release samples were just a little bit too assertive. It was almost to the point where I thought it was another reverb and the, as you can see the reverb is not even on yet. 
So you can tweak that, all right? And here are some of the mechanical noises, like the pedal sound. Of course, you could tweak that. The damper. And blend those in both nicely in a string. There you got a nice. Right? So, some of the features here, the overtones, of course, uh, like if you hold a chord down. Uh, sympathetic resonance, as most of you may be more familiar with that term. That's what the overtone feature does. Stereo image, you can swap. So it puts the low end on the right side. The high end, since I'm playing a high note, the high end on the left side, as you can hear it more. And if I swap it back, gives you the uh, perspective of actually sitting at the piano. All right, velocity curve here. You can turn on a sound key, the repedaling. You should know what that is by now. If not, it's just basically the, the last attack when you, well, the tail end of the sample is when you press the, pe the pedal down, sustain pedal, so kind of like this. That type of thing. Half pedaling, basically, I have a continuous pedal, finally, so I can give you an example of what the half pedal does. It kind of sustains the notes for a little. I have sustained them a little bit long, uh, less than a full sustain. About right there. That's half pedal. And then if I do full, There's the half pedal. So you need a continuous pedal for that, you know, so if you want to take advantage of that. Here is the dynamic range and the resonance volume. <clears throat> All right, so then you have an EQ and some other things. I'm not going to go over everything. The reverbs are kind of pretty much the same from the Galaxy pianos. Uh, nothing different there, but the cover about tone about this piano, it's beautiful. I love it, especially when playing real soft. Work very good if you're playing a ballad or a slow song. Um, now the higher, the higher dynamics, I'm not, I don't know. They're okay, uh, you know, I could do it with it. Uh, not the best, uh, but it's still good. I, you'll still love this piano, great sound. Um, there's also a lid feature here, so you can play with the closed lid. Kind of mutes the, uh, the mid range and the high range, half open there. Okay, so just a quick review, a walkthrough, and uh, check it out. You know, you can purchase it from the Native Instrument, Native Instrument website, <laughs> and um, I think it's about $99 for each piano, or you can buy the whole collection. Check out the website, you know, check out some of the, the demos. You may enjoy it. All right, so thanks for watching.